Hey guys, how's it going? Max here, bringing you guys another video. Um, I'm actually recording this video quite late after this announcement, and it's simply because I've had no time this week to bring you guys this announcement. But as you guys know, um, I, it was actually last weekend that we had a leaked poster for the first DLC for Black Ops 3. So I know you guys watch Ali A and even Thunder and loads of these people who will cover all of this news. And oh, don't let me leave the combat zone, come on. Um, I know you guys watch these news videos and these news Call of Duty channels, but look, that loads of them do it as a full-time job, so I apologise for not keeping you guys up to date on my YouTube as best as I can. However, I have been keeping up to date on Twitter, and the second there has been news, I have brought you guys information. So, uh, bearing that in mind, I decided, well, I decided pre-recording this video, I decided I'm not going to talk about each individual DLC map. Quickly say, the uh, DLC is obviously called Awakening, as you guys already know, and within it, it of course features Skyrise, with, or not Skyrise, what's it called, Skyjack, sorry, which is a remake of Black Ops 2's Hijack, so I'm sure you guys are already aware of that. Additionally, there of course is the Splash map, that looks awesome, and then there's also the Gauntlet map, now we've had a bit of information um, from this, about this map recently, I think it's called Gauntlet, just off the top of my head, and, you know, I don't have the poster right in front of me or whatever, I'm not one of those people who print out 20 of them, get really hyped about it, and then just randomly record a supply drop opening video for no particular reason and get really hyped for a camo. I have no respect for those people whatsoever, no offence if you do that, well, that's sort of for, uh, for offence actually, but um, Anyway, uh, that map is, there's been more stuff added to it, it's actually three maps built into one. We've had new information released from Call of Duty simply on Twitter, when they just said in the description something like uh, snow, rain and whatever, uh, but it's three maps in one, but in my opinion, this, I'm really looking forward to, the, I'm looking forward to all the maps to be honest with you guys, and obviously the Der Eisen Drachen Zombies or something like that, insert German word here, something like that, but I'm gonna now give you guys the information you might not know. Um, this DLC, you guys are probably wondering when is it coming out, it's actually coming out in January, we do not have a confirmed date as of yet, I say confirmed date, we've got a leaked date, um, that, or leaked dates rather, that's towards middle, the mid, uh, mid part of January, towards the end of January, obviously first on the PS4, so on the PS4 you get it one month early, of course with the new Sony and uh, Activision what should we call it? Business, let's just call it Business Coalition, if you want to put it that way. Obviously, PS4 gets it a month early, then PC and uh, you Xbox users will get it a month later after PS4. So PS4 and Xbox have just completely switched. This DLC will be available to you guys in January of next year. And um, I'm going to make a separate video talking about some possible Christmas DLC ideas as well. Obviously, it won't be Christmas, you know, Christmas DLC map packs or whatever, but it will be a few ideas I've had for camos some leaked things and um, I'm going to talk about that later. Really quickly as well guys, there was an update yesterday on Black Ops 3 um, and an update I've been calling for for a long time and I did actually manage to play the game yesterday and it's double XP this weekend as well, that was the next announcement I needed to make. The update yesterday, few updates to guns like the CUDA recoil change, MA Day 7 rate of fire has been decreased slightly, the uh, Mano War rate of fire has been decreased, nothing to the snipers, KRM shotgun, um, just this is literally off the top of my head, uh, maximum damage range increase, there is a no, lo no longer a 3 shot kill for that gun, it is a 2 shot kill, Argus hasn't been touched since the last update, the Razorback got buffed again, um, I, it was to do with the uh, range I think, lethal range, XR2 got nerfed again, like aim in, round of sight, and get this, the Dingo got a buff, but the 48 Dredge got a nerf, so I'm not too sure there, the Dingo, I mean I've used it a bit, and there's no recoil on it, but apparently that needed a buff change or whatever, but the streaks are meant to have been, got a lot better, so I was eager to test this out, so I actually managed to, you know, escape from some work yesterday, played for about an hour, tried um, all of these new streaks, so the Hellstorm's meant to have got a lot better, Nope, nothing like the beta, Hellstorm still needs to be improved a lot. The lightning strike does come in a lot quicker and I am aware of that and I did try that and I noticed it, it was the one thing I actually noticed. Um, however, you know when you guys are placing the lightning strike, um, I think the area of which it covers should be a lot bigger. Because at the moment it's really small and people can move and, you know, they can dodge it and so on. The HC cart can now actually kill people with flag jacket, so that's a decent change as well. Um, UAV I think just has extra damage, same with the counter UAV or something like that, or it might last longer. Uh, the VSAT or the Hater lasts slightly longer as well. And uh, the Fail Gravity Spike there as well. Using a Mate A7 in this gameplay pre-nerf I should say. Um, and what else was there? KRM got a slight buff, but yeah, the snipers weren't touched, few shotgun buffs, 
few LMG buffs and basically a few buffs here and there to weapons. Um, for example, with like uh, no major buffs, but like you know, uh, lethal range increased and the recoil was the main sort of changes there. But to the school streaks, I've already talked about the hellstorm and the HXD, UAV, cancer UAV, and VSAT. Um, the wraith is apparently it takes more bullets to kill or shots to kill for missiles. Um, no, I called one in yesterday, it lasted 6 seconds on combine from me calling it into it being shot down, 6 seconds, so it got shot down instantly, not sure what they've done to that, the mothership, nobody really uses it, but it takes more bullets to, more missiles, sorry, to take down, and I just think, instead of, these streaks should have a lot more, uh, what do you call it, they should have a lot more flares, that's it. They should have a lot more flares that they can, you know, reject the first three missiles and then after that the missiles will kill them. Or equally just nerf the shit out of the missiles. They are so easy to use, loads of people use them. Um, but yeah, that, that's about it for this video guys. Not sure what else I wanted to cover, but I've gone slightly off track. So, in essence, or uh, in total, sorry guys, Black Ops 3 Double XP weekend starting in 50 minutes from you guys who are actually watching this video, 6pm UK time. There will be a Nuketown only playlist, first time for that as well. Then we had the streaks and the uh, weapon changes yesterday, the slight update to the game. And then also we've got that DLC coming out, DLC 1 in January. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please remember to slap the like button down below. Hope you guys are also enjoying my new channel art. Hopefully you guys recognize that. I was talking a lot about that on Twitter and gave Ashmay, uh, who kindly did it for me out of nowhere. He just said, you know what, I'm going to make you... Uh, make you, he said to me, Max, you know what, I'm going to come over here, make you a new revamp, so that's really kind of him, so thank you guys so much for watching, if you could give the video a like, it is truly appreciated, and I've noticed we're closing in on 13,000 subscribers as well, I can't believe it, hope you guys enjoyed, have an awesome weekend wherever you are, whatever you're doing, enjoy playing this game, and I will see you guys, you know the drill, what am I going to say, <sighs> I wonder what I'm going to say, over on the next video, yeah, you got, you actually got it, I couldn't believe that, I'll see you guys then. But if you close your eyes